after each bag, you are like, one more! <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone, today we're going to be making no fry french fries. We need potatoes, cornstarch, cheese, parsley, and black pepper. Let's chop the potatoes into small pieces. Once you're done chopping the potatoes, you can either boil them, steam them, or microwave them. To make them soft, right? Yeah. Because you want to smash them. And make mashed potatoes. To the mashed potatoes, we are now going to add black pepper, as much as you want, and parsley flakes. This will give it the beautiful color. Now we're also going to add a quarter cup of cornstarch and mix. We are mixing the mashed potatoes to make it look like a dough. After mixing, we're going to add half a cup of cheese. We're going to continue mixing until all the cheese is combined into the dough slash mashed potatoes. We are now going to add our mashed potatoes into a large Ziploc bag. We are now going to take the Ziploc bag out of the container. Then we're going to lay the Ziploc bag flat. And we're going to push all the air out, or at least most of it. Then we're going to use a rolling pin and we're going to roll the dough out. You want it to be all equally thick. And you want it to be a rectangular? Yes. If you want straight edges, you can put a bench scraper here and then you can just roll it alongside it. We are now done rolling it into a rectangular shape. So we're going to put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. You want to put it on a flat area so the dough doesn't get misshapen. After 30 minutes, the dough has completely firmed up. So now it's time to separate them. So you're going to open the Ziploc and then you're going to cut off the sides. You're going to do the same thing for the other side too. After you finish cutting, peel it back so it looks like this. You're going to use a tool and you're going to separate it into certs. You see, after I froze it, it's very clean. Now I'm just going to use it and I'm going to yank. Ooh, and this. Now you're going to repeat that process until everything is gone. And you want to leave a gap in between them so that air can flow and that they won't connect with each other. We are going to bake the no-fry french fries at 309 degrees for 20 minutes. This fry is packed with so much flavor. Overall, it's the best fry I've ever eaten. Nice. And by the way, these are a lot more healthy than regular french fries because they are dipped in oil. Yeah. There's not even any oil or butter in this entire thing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Bye!